When we take measurements or we perform calculations, sometimes we're off a little bit. It could be because we rounded a number somewhere along the way, or maybe we read the measuring tape wrong, and it said 35 inches, and we wrote down 35 and a half. How significant is the error that we made? Well, to make that determination, we use what we call relative error. Relative error simply compares the amount of error in your measurement with the total amount of the measurement that there is. Now, why not just say, well, we're off by one inch? Well, one inch is not the same in all cases. Take a look at this. Suppose I'm measuring these squares. I measure the small square, and my measurement is off by one inch when I measure the side here. One inch is pretty significant if you're off that much on a little square like that. Suppose I measure the side of the larger square. If I'm off by one inch, it's still pretty significant, but it's not as drastic. Suppose I'm measuring the side of a football field. I want to know how long that length is. Well, football field's pretty long. One inch is really nothing in comparison to it. So it may not really make a difference in that case, at least not as much as it would up here. That's why we look at this number called relative error. Here's how you calculate relative error. There's a simple formula for it. We simply take the measured value that we get minus the actual value, and we divide it by the actual value. That gives us a decimal. That decimal is called the relative error. Notice the red absolute value marks on each side of the formula there. That's because relative error is going to be a positive number. Now let's take a look at a couple of examples just to see how this works. It's actually pretty simple. In the first example, we have a circle, and we're measuring the circumference. And remember, circumference is the perimeter of a circle. We measure the outer edge of the circle. And we measured it to be 22 inches, but actually it was really 21 inches. We were off by one inch. Well, let's see how significant that is. I'm going to use the relative error, error formula to find that value. So I write down the formula, and I always write down the formula first. It helps me to remember them. I plug the numbers in. We have the measured minus the actual over the actual. That gives me 1 over 21, which is approximately 0 0.047619, and it goes on a bit further. I rounded it there. The equal sign with the little squiggles, um, that means approximately. It means that I rounded. Now, that's my relative error. This here, 0 0.047619, is my relative error. And I usually round how far they ask me to do that. Now, what does that mean? Well, often we look at what we call the percent error. And in science, they especially like to talk about percent error. Percent error simply means convert that decimal to a percent. And remember, we do that by moving our decimal point two places to the right. So the percent error is 4.76%. So I'm about 4.76% off. What does that mean? Well, I'm about 95% accurate, about 5% off. So my measurement's 95% accurate. Pretty good. Maybe that's great for the, for the application I'm using it for. Maybe it's not. That's for you to decide as you're working on your on your particular problem. Now, let's look at another example. This one's involving the perimeter of a garden. We have a garden, and the garden is actually 34, uh, I'm sorry, the, actually the garden is 38 feet around the edges. But when we measured it, we measured it to be 34.25. Let's find out how far off our answer is for the perimeter. Well, Measured minus actual divided by the actual. Measured, 34.25, minus the actual, 38, over 38, gives me this fraction. I put that into the calculator, do the division, and I get 0 0.098684. That's the relative error. Now the percent error, I just moved the decimal point two places to the right. 9.86%, 9.87%. So I'm off by almost 10%. My perimeter is 90% accurate or 10% incorrect. 
that's how relative error works. All you really need to have is two things. The actual measurement, the measurement that you came up with, and this simple formula here.